Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video we will be doing a comparison between the iPad 4 and the Nexus 7, the new Nexus 7 that was just released. So just to give you a quick uh, recap on the specs, specs here, this one has a Snapdragon S4 Pro processor clocked at 1.5 GHz and it's quad core and it's got 2 gigs of RAM. Now this guy has a 1.2 GHz A6X processor and it's dual core and it's got one gigabytes of RAM. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a Geekbench 2 benchmarking tool, which is a tool that uh, calculates the combined power of a processor and a memory on each of these devices. And it's a cross-platform tool, so the results are comparable 100%. So the first thing I'm going to do is let me launch that app. So let's just make sure there's nothing else running in the background. So let's go to the recent apps on the Nexus. No recent apps and double tap here. Nothing else other than the main home screen. So let's launch Geekbench. Geekbench over here. Geekbench over here. Click Run Benchmarks. Run Benchmarks. And let's just wait this out. Okay, we're done on this one. It's 2,800, 2,682 on this one. And we've got 1,801 on this one. So um, the new Nexus 7, which is $229, is actually faster than the iPad. Now, don't let these results completely fool you. Even though the processing power clearly is higher on this one, doesn't mean that the iPad does not run as well as the Nexus 7. iPad still is a very smooth and a fluid device. The next test I'm going to run is a browsing test. So we're going to use the stock browsers on both of these guys. We're going to use Chrome here. So let's. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to clear all the cache. So go to settings. Go to privacy and clear the browsing data and clear everything okay so we have a clean slate on the chrome number two let's go to safari here actually we don't have to go to safari we go to settings here and then we go to safari here and we do clear history we do clear cookies and data so we have a clean slate here as well double tap safari so let's go to CNN.com first. Okay, so we're going to do this at the same time. Okay, the um, Nexus 7 wins this one. Let's do Amazon.com. Okay, ready? Same time. Okay, the Nexus 7 wins it again. Okay, let's do eBay also, just to make sure we've given them all at least three websites. So eBay.com. Okay, ready? Once more, um, well, we went to the mobile website here, and we went to the full website here, so we can't really compare that one. Uh, let me just click classic site. Let's see how quick that happens. Okay, that was pretty quick. But, but anyway, the first two tests that we ran, which went to the full website, the Nexus 7 was a clear winner. And then with the processing power measurement, again, the Nexus 7 was the winner. So um, I don't put put too much emphasis on these numbers, but I just want to run these tests for the viewers that were wondering what the case was. So uh, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Have a good day.